can't believe I did this. I mean, you can see how crooked some of these are. Like, they had to go. <sighs> trimming. For the longest time, I thought trimming was something people did when their hair got too long and too unmanageable. In fact, my mom and I didn't even believe split ends were real. Were the hairstylists just making this up to get us back in their chairs? So I ignored it. But the thought of those little split ends crawling up my hair shaft, destroying the rest of my hair, yeah, that really made me pay attention. So then I started gradually trimming off my ends, almost secretly trimming off my ends because because I really didn't want to let go of my length. So I trimmed off like the tiniest bit. Like I trimmed off so, so little when really I should have been trimming off a lot more. And I'd only trim my hair maybe once or twice a year. But as I've gotten older, certain things take more priority over others. So I have chosen to take better care of my hair. I have chosen to prioritize the health of my hair over the length of my hair, regardless of which texture I choose to be. That is why today I've decided to get a much needed trim. After all, it's not an arm, it's not a leg, it's hair and hair will grow back. And even if it takes a long time, that's all right. As long as it's on my head, it's my hair and I can love it at any length and do to it as I please. So let's get on with the trimming. I'll find valid in your eyes. Welcome to Lady Red. My name is Sil Red and before we continue, I would just like you to take a moment, just a little moment, to subscribe and turn on post notifications if you haven't already because you know it's free and you'll get a lot of info and hopefully learn something new when i post a new video so go ahead and subscribe right now if you subscribed thank you so so much and moving right along here's everything that i'll be using today for this trim first of all i have a brand new pair of scissors. These, um, I got them at Discum. These are stainless steel scissors for precision cutting. They're kind of thin-ish and but really sharp. I actually did try to find like proper professional hair cutting shears or at least something basic but all of those for some reason the shelves were just empty and the only ones that were actually left were the ones that come in the kit with the shaving machine and that was just too expensive and I don't need a shaving machine. No one I live with needs a shaving machine. So I figured as long as I get really sharp ones and I only use them for cutting my hair and nothing else then they should stay sharp and it should be good enough. Yeah. Got some hair on. I've also got here a wide tooth comb and a fine tooth comb. This I'm just going to use to comb through my hair and this one I just let you see the splits better. And I've also got four sectioning clips because the best way to do anything on your own head yourself is to divide and conquer. And the other thing I'll be making use of is my glasses because things can go very wrong very quickly when I'm not wearing these. Okay, I feel like I look more normal with my glasses. I'm so used to wearing them. I mean, it's weird when I don't wear them actually. Anywho, moving along. Um, the last two weeks actually, I had my hair braided into three cornrows. I undid the braids last night and then basically I used all my Amla products. It's the same as what I did in my last video. If you want to see my whole hair washing process with those products, please check out my last video. It's there. 
The only thing I did differently from how I washed my hair last week was I found Amla hair food like randomly and I found this at a shop right and interestingly what it says at the back not suitable for Caucasian or Indian hair Mira Amla the Indian hair oil Anywho, I've also flat ironed my hair. I don't usually flat iron my hair, but for the purpose of what I'm going to be doing today, I think it would turn out better if all of my hair is completely stretched out and straightened. I do have about a month of new growth. Since I'm doing this on myself, I'm letting go of having any perfect results. Things go wrong, it's okay. There's wigs. I'm gonna start off by just dividing my hair. I'm gonna divide it into four. I feel like working in sections of four. Things tend to go a lot better. Like I said, divide and conquer. This is gonna be like the first time I trim like a lot, like a good amount. I'm not gonna go scissors heavy, but well, hopefully not. I'm actually not nervous about doing this, surprisingly. I don't know, I guess I've just kind of let go of the fear of things going wrong and my hair looking weird. Just have to trust yourself and trust the process. My hair is shiny though, like... One that really comes through for that shine. Just look at that. Wow. Now, how am I going to do this strategically? But that front piece is always going to be short. Okay, you can see that. Looking up to there is a good mount. When I wear this pink top, I look like a school kid. I am way legal. I think I should start with a tiny piece just to, you know, to get it going. Okay, now I'm nervous. I'm nervous now. Okay. I'm doing this. Yeah, I did it. Okay, this went from being nerve-wracking to a little bit exciting. Trying to cut at an angle. You're the night sky trying to make me see your stars. But the dark gets only now. I see violet, I can feel silence. Okay, the last little bit. Even without those little ends, my hair is still like touching my collarbone. So it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm gonna. And just free all of these parts. Okay, I'm getting sick of this middle part. It's not for me. Okay, not bad for a, for a DIY. I mean, for some reason, I'm afraid to turn around. Feels like it's been freed of a burden. Bad. I 
think one side is a little longer than the other but it's okay for the most part not bad for something I did myself it's cute it's like the bob wig I've always wanted to have mm, I can't believe I did this <sighs> well I think I'm happy with the results it's definitely better than the way it was before it looks neater definitely a lot easier to comb because before I'd always have to go over the ends with the flat iron like several times to get it to be normal now that they're not there look at that yay freedom okay I don't want to do anything else to it otherwise then I'll start messing it up without prolonging this even more I'm just gathering the little pieces of hair okay, this is about how much I cut off wait that's not my hair <laughs> I mean, you can see how crooked some of these are. Like, they had to go. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching if you watched till this far. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you haven't already. Bye for now, but not forever. The dark gets lonely. Now I see violet. I can feel silent. And the dark's all